Hello, my name is Daniel Mansfield. Welcome to the University of New South Wales Math 1131 Algebra course. In this video, we do Chapter 2, Question 4. Prove the following for A and B, three-dimensional vectors over the real numbers, and lambda a scalar. First is that A dot B is B dot A, and the second is that A dot with lambda B is lambda A dot B. Or that you can take this lambda and bring it out the front. Well, we are told that A and B are three-dimensional vectors over the real numbers. So let's start with that. A looks like this. A tuple of three things, A1, A2, and A3. And those three things are real numbers. B is defined similarly. a tuple of three objects, and these objects are real numbers. Both ai and bi are real numbers for i is equal to 1, 2, and 3. Good. This is what vector a and vector b look like. Now for part 1. A dotted with B. Well, let's use what we have for A and B. I will now take the dot product of two vectors. The dot product of two vectors is defined like this. You take the first element of this vector times the first element of this vector. And then you add the second element of this vector times the second element of this vector. And you add the third element of this times the third element of this, and so on until you run out of elements. Behold, the definition of dot product. Good. Now. What I would like to do is swap A1 and B1, A2, B2, and A3 and B3. And what allows me to do that is the fact that these are real numbers. A1 and B1 are real numbers. And A1, for real numbers, A1, B1 is equal to B1, A1. Since A, I, B, I is equal to B, I, a i for a i b i for both a and b i real numbers, otherwise known as commutivity. This is equal to b one a one plus b two a two plus b three a three, and this. This is equal to B dotted with A. Thank you, definition of dot product. This concludes part one. And now for part two. Again, we start off by saying A is a three-dimensional vector of real numbers, and B is a three-dimensional vector of real numbers. Then the left-hand side is A dotted with lambda well, we know what A is. That's A1, A2, A3. And we know lambda B is lambda B1, lambda B2, lambda B3. I will now take the dot product of these two vectors. And we know how. It's equal to A1 lambda B1 plus a2 lambda b2 plus a3 lambda b3. Hmm. And now I will take the lambda and bring it out the front of this sum and here and here as well. And the property that allows me to do that is the fact that these are all real numbers. Since a i lambda is equal to lambda 
AI for lambda AI, both real numbers, then this is equal to lambda A1 B1 plus lambda A2 B2. Now I want to use another property of the real numbers. This one's called the distributive law. This is equal to lambda times A1 B1 plus A2 B2 plus A3 B3 which is lambda a dotted with b. And that concludes part two.